Hi, and welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic, and it's another special one where I'll be looking at the listener crossword. Um, I've just posted the solution to uh, his by Nebuchadnezzar, which was a splendid puzzle. And uh, let's hope for more of the same. We shall see. Um, this is three weeks later, so we get puzzle 4479, Postprandial by Salamanca. Now, Salamanca's been um, having listener crosswords published for many years. And interesting, it sometimes does fairly classical themes. It's also sometimes done um, popular music. And we read in the preamble that the six unclued entries comprise most of the lyrics of a verse from a song, omitting some definite articles and conjunctions, the and and, obviously. The circled letters give an arrangement of the source. Now, I've put those in blue on my grid here. Um, as you can see, they're circled in the original grid, and there's space under the grid for a missing line. Six letter answers with two locations. Okay, I see that there are two, three different clues with two clue numbers. Must be jumbled to form three letter words for the two entries. Solvers must write the missing line, five words below the grid. Change the primary reference, of course. So let's have a look at these clues. Looks like it's just uncleared entries. There's nothing special about the other clues apart from those six letter answers. And we can leave them for a bit, hopefully. So, ten across gangster. Well, it depends which side you are on. That's a very colloquial clue. Um, Hood is a gangster. And I suppose Robin Hood was considered a gangster by some sides in... Middle Ages. Okay, four downs, one of these three letters, as is five down, which is mentioned there. So let's just focus on the other clues for now. Six down. Need to change original garden. Garden of Eden was the original garden, and it's an anagram of need. Thirteen across. A French, normally un. River bore. Derwent is a river. So underwent is bore. Stood up with. Stood up to. Um, it's quite neat use of Derwent. I have seen it before though, which helped. Let's try two down. Wise say, sounds like Ernie, before, air, concealing national insurance. Three down, prompting old company to follow rearing horse. So that's a horse upside down. Mm, old company sounds like OCO, but that doesn't really make sense. Seven down, old claw. Initially fa falcular in English, so it looks like F I N E F in E. Maybe fine can be in chambers as a claw in some sort of historical context. Eight down apparently lives longer out something than amounts of commodities lost in transport. Um, amounts of commodities lost in transport. Uh, must be out or something. Let's try and get this long one, 15 across. Nurse treated ailing gent outside hospital. So it's an anagram of ailing gent and H for hospital. Um, nightingale is a nurse, and that seems to work. But it means I've got fine wrong. Oh, in English can be ang. So that's fang, initially falcular and ang, okay, which is probably more like a claw. Eight down. Ooh, I am not so sure that that begins without now. Apparently lives longer than. Amounts of commodities lost in transport. Oof, don't know. Eleven down, four letters. Ancient mounds, I think that's tells English in paper. The paper there is the Times Literary Supplement. Nine down. Natural or manufactured flyer. Hmm. Kite, I suppose. Kind of defines them both. Back to three down. It's got DG in now. Prompting old company. So an old word for prompting, nudging or something. Company. 
gang? Oh, ging might be an old word for gang, following a dun going upwards. That's a type of horse. Nudging. 17 across. Plant seeds around Spain is E to produce tree. I think teal, because teal can be sesame seeds. 18. Calls group to drink. Rings up. Rings up. Fair enough. 20 across. For what pilferer may do to church roof in village, one needs cable. So, yeah, that's unlead to take the lead off something. It's what a pilferer does to a church roof. Un is a dialect word for one, so one in village one and a cable is a lead. 16 down. Poets to prosper from article on earl. Well, that's the, I think that's an old word for thrive. The, probably. 18 down. Aftermath of nuclear hostilities arising. Must be rawn. Not a word I definitely know, but N war raised, and it looks like a word. I think aftermath, that's in the sense of grass cuttings. So 19 down. Notion of one astrologer to Elizabeth I. That's either idea or the French idée, which means the same. Let's try 24 across. Half of nuts in Scotland go in trifles. That's new guy. Half of the word nuts. Gay being the Scots go. And nugatory things are new guy, I presume. 25 across. Ferocious hunter. Oh, this is... Oh, I'm reading the wrong clue. Right. 26 across. I could see seven in the grid and six in the word. Six on the clues. 26 across. From Umbrian town. Hybrid fruits. Not left turning on climbing stem. Well, hybrid fruit is so often ugly. U-G-L-I. That having not left is U-G-I. Turning on could be... Ooh, can't quite see that. Let's go back to 25 across. Probably begins W-E. Ferocious hunter when caught in rural traps. I think that's a weasel, which is quite a ferocious animal. As is caught in wheel, which I think is a trap in water. Eat down. So out ages, apparent outages, amounts of commodity lost in transport. So it's a double definition. That's quite neatly done. 20 do down. Transport bird scoff. Hmm. Rail. Rail. Three different meanings. I think that works. 23 down. Taking no side. Confused Lutheran. Discards hearts. Obviously, an anagram of Lutheran without H, which is an abbre abbreviates to H, which hearts abbreviates to H is what I mean. And taking no side is neutral. Renault would also have fitted, but uh, doesn't mean that. 22 across. Irish abandon in returning to block registration. So in returning is NI. And if that blocks reg, which is short for registration, then we get renege, which must be a word. 21 down. Bathroom fixtures, latrines, lavabos, perhaps. Re reflect cry of granny, perhaps. Sob. Avil, which means of a grand so lavabos was right. Let's try, let's try 26 across again. Must end in A or E. From, oh, it's this Umbrian town. Oh, my ugly's not looking right now. Not left immediately on climbing stem. There's a lot of stuff there. I don't know what's going on quite. 28 down. Intermediate stage linking young creature to adult. Pupa, pup, plus A for adult. 30. Ah, now we get to the unclued entries, finally. Oh, interesting. We haven't seen any. 12 down is one as well. How many letters in the uncludes? Most of the lyrics of a verse. Okay. 29 down. Dog swallowing ordinary tea. That's a peak around O. 34 across. That's unclued. 37. Quite important to get this, really. Age about 35, possibly. 
What's 35? That's one of the three letter words. <sighs> no. Difficult. Right, let's try 31 and 32 down. Thigh armor for Richard III, say, from part of Circus Happening. Well, it must be hidden in Circus Happening, so it's either Kush or Shap. And I think Kush is a genuine bit of armor. There's quite a lot of words, old words for armor. 32. Climbers use this steel link coming up outside of tree. Ooh, there's a lot in there. It's quite interesting. 34 across with BU. Not much fits there. Let's try these last four letter words, but we don't get much help for. 27 down. One of an oracular pair in Bible. That makes me think Urim and Thummim. Put Esau finally on edge. Yeah. You can look up Urim and Thummim if you want to know what they mean. Meaning, I can't quite remember. 30 down. Constant beat. Gripping instrument. Can't be hidden. Constant beat. Gripping instrument. So it must be a gripping instrument made up of a constant, which is normally C or K, although there are other possibilities. Um, and then three letter word for beat, which can be ta lamb. Clam? Is that a gripping instrument? Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at some of the th six letter words. Four and thirty five. So we don't know. We, we know that there's an O and an R in this six letter word. Tree guardian brings in forester, maybe, to implant firmly. <sighs> Tree guardian. Eco? Something? No. Let's have a look at five down. Um, hardly got any of the blue squares as well, a B and an H. Five down. No, where's five? It's in this 14. Right, 14. Ah, so we've got... ET in 14 and OW in 5. Band using axe in hot rocking. So that's the who. Hue is to axe and hot is T-H-O if you anagram it or rock it. So that's got two H's. So those obviously both go in there. And that's interesting because you would have thought that this letter at 4 would be a T to make the... But didn't we get told that definite articles and conjunctions are some definite articles? So something the folks. And four down would have to have a T in it. Tree guardian. I don't know. Let's have a quick look at the other six letter answer here that gets split up. Medieval instrument. It's introduced by classic songwriter to his friends. 33 and 36. I've only got an I. Medieval instrument. Guitar? Some, something like a guitar? It's introduced oh, by a classic songwriter to his friends. So what some classic songwriter could be relevant to the theme, in fact. Hmm. I think what? That's the one more look at 26 cross. We've got a U we didn't have before. From Umbrian Town. Hybrid fruit. It's not left turning on climbing stem. Hybrid. Oh. Igu. Igu vine. So that would be ugly without the left turning. Igu. On a vine, but uh, it may be that I do not know my Italian towns well enough. But I'd, although it feels like it fits well and works with the wordplay, I'm not aware of what that is. So one down's unclued as well. So if that was the folks, it's quite likely that the verse would start. Oh, one across, excuse me. So it could be... Men... I 
to know what would fit there. And one down could be count. Whoa. Not knowing how many words are in each. Um, unclude entry is not helpful. Okay, we do know. Right, it says. Now that's interesting. I should have noticed that. Right. So unclude the one across is three, three words. So there's got to be something the folks deny the folks. One down is only two words. Taunton Isle. Oh, and mostly not very many words. 34 across is two words. And it begins B-U, bush marks, or... Hey, bull. Mm, 30 across here that we've got highlighted. Let's just clear that out. Unclude, and it's two words. Crack plates, crack plates, 12 down is two words, shop glasses, crack plates and chip glasses, and bust forks, and crash tables. That could be forks at the top as well. What was the puzzle called? Postprandial. So it is to do with a meal. Something you do after the meal. I do fancy chip glasses. Let's just fill it in for fun. And crack plates. That looks good. And it's not crash tables because there's too many word, too many letters. Could they be forks again? What's 32 down if it begins with K? Climbers use this steel link coming up outside of tree. I suppose outside of tree is T-E. Link coming up. K. Ooh. 30 down, oh, constant, it could be clam, and that would give us smash at the bottom. Smash bottles would fit. A bit random, but fits the theme. 32 down, ends in a B, curb, perhaps. Climbers, or knob? Climbers use this steel link coming up outside of tree. So climbers use this steel is probably the definition. Link coming up outside of tree. Hmm. One down is two words as well. Shunt. What I could, of course, do now. Oh, knives. Blunt knives. Fits. What I could be doing is actually looking up these phrases in Google, which would probably take me straight to the solution. Bend the forks, blunt knives, chip glasses, smash bottles, crack plates. I can tell you it's not a verse from a song I know. I'm pretty sure about that. So bend the forks, blunt the knives, chip the glasses, smash the bottles and crack the plates. And what's this one? Bun, bus, bun. Okay, let's have a look at some of these six letter words again. So we did the who. 435, so tor and another o. Tree guardian brings in forester maybe to implant firmly en route or in route. Um, what's the forester there? A tree guardian, ent, is that? I think in Tolkien, isn't an ent a somebody protecting? And forester, rue, because he lives in the hundred acre forest, en route, I reckon. 
So that either gives us Neo, that's more likely than Eno. So it could be Burn. Burn something. Oh, what have we got in these blue letters as well, which uh, the circled letters give an arrangement of the source. And we've got two Bs. The. Wow, the. Fibby. It's going to be another. The Hobbit. Hence the end. So it must be a song from Tolkien's Hobbit. What you burn? I can burn the works? What's 36? Right. This medieval instrument's got Eli and a T in it. It's introduced by a classic songwriter to his friends. Whoa. If that is the songwriter from the song in question, then I'm just not going to know what the hell... And my, my Hobbit knowledge is minimal, unfortunately. 32 down. Climbers use this steel link coming up outside tree outside of tree. So bark coming up. Coming up bark is crab. That must be something climbers use. 37 across. Age about 35, possibly. Okay, well 35 we now think is Neo. So about can be A. And one possible spelling of Neo is Eon, that gives us Aeon, which is an age. And now this instrument at 3336 has got O-L-I-T-E in it. Burn corks. I suppose if you smash the bottles, you might as well burn the corks. So... What is the instrument that's spelt with E L I C O and T? Colite. So coal, coal from Coal Porter. It would be called coal by his friends. Sitol. I think that is an instrument. So it is burn corks. So we finish the grid. We know it's from. We know the song is from The Hobbit. And all that remains to do. To find the missing line is to look up. Let's try burn the corks. Because that won't be a phrase that's been, and crack the plates. Look at that. Blunt the knives. I'll well, have a look at the one wiki to rule them all. Here's the song. And the song is chip the glasses and crack the plates. We've got those. Blunt the knives and bend the forks. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates. That looks like the five lines we're missing. Smash the bottles and burn the corks. So that's everything we've got. So that's what Bilbo Baggins hates is our missing line. Then the song goes on. Cut the cloth and tread on the fat. Pour the milk on the pantry floor. Leave the bones on the bedroom mat. Splash the wine on every door. Dump the crocks in a boiling bowl. Pound them up with a thumping pole, and when you've finished, if any are whole, send them down the hall to roll. That's what Bilbo Baggins hates, so carefully, carefully with the plates. Now Tolkien, who's clearly an English professor, we remember, has done that in a sonnet form, with an A-B-A-B, A-B-A-B, C-C-C-C-D-D rhyming scheme, or something like that. And, uh, well, I wouldn't necessarily say I think it's a wonderful song, but it's certainly the theme of this puzzle, and that gets us to the finish. So what we'll fill in is that's what Bilbo Baggins hates as the missing line, and that's a listener done in about 20 minutes, maybe 25, um, and talked through. So I hope you enjoyed that. It does show, I think, that the listener is not always viciously hard. It can sometimes just be a matter of getting through the clues. Now, obviously, I know a lot of Chambers vocabulary which help there, but Chambers is always on hand to resolve that sort of thing. And once you get a handle on the theme, it can finish quite quickly, as it did today. So I hope that's been informative for you. Thanks to Salamanca for setting the puzzle. And thank you for watching. Um, hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye.